Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for The Loud House, so let's start talking about the season finale. Now, sorry, uh, the episode's a our episode review is a bit late, it's, you know, the next day, but I am here to talk about our two episode, uh, or pretty much two episode season finale of The Loud House. So our first episode has to do with the family. It's actually Lana-centric, where she has to go to Burpenberger to meet her race car, uh, you know, um, role model, uh, because she wants to be part of her pit crew, and there's this contest, if she gets the burger wrapper, then she'll be able to join the crew. Now, of course, it takes her a couple of times to do so, it's snowing, and once she actually gets the wrapper, her family snowed in, and the only way to get out is to give the wrapper to Flip. Uh, so she does do the loyal uh, thing for her family, which is give the rapper away, but she does get to meet her idol and interact with her idol and kind of happily ever after. So I'm going to talk about this episode and then I'll talk about the next, but I enjoyed this one the most. I always enjoy the, the family interactions the most, and this is definitely a bit more character driven compared to the, the second episode, but... Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was great to see a Lana-centric episode. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of those, or at least recently. And I, I love the way the family interacts with each other, and, and the hard decision Lana does have to make for her family. Uh, and her family still not yelling at her in any way. It's like, oh, you put us in this situation where I think that could easily be done in a, tel a television show. But Loud House kind of strays away from that and actually is... It is about the family wanting to help each other in this uh, situation and not put any blame at all uh, on on the other. So I, I enjoyed that aspect. Now moving on to the second episode, which is a Clyde and Lincoln centric episode, a bit more adventurish, venture adventurish uh, episode. Uh, and we get to see, uh, you know, this is the other aspect of the Loud House. Usually it's either about the family or it's a adventure type episode with, uh, Lincoln and Clyde. So, with this episode, it was nice to see Clyde's dads and, and that interaction, how Lincoln, uh, you know, interacts with his friend and, and his friend's family. That's always nice, because usually we get the opposite. Usually it's Clyde interacting with Lincoln's family, so it's cool to see uh, the other side of, of the interaction. So with this episode, we get to see how Clyde's parents are overprotective, and Clyde kind of rebels a little bit, uh, puts them in a life or death situation, and by the end, they're able to learn, hey, yes, we could be overprotective, but maybe not that overprotective. There is a balance, and we have to trust our child to do the right thing in the scenario, and that we gave the right tools for our son to do the right thing. And I think there's ob obviously a great lesson in this episode, and it's one of the Clyde and Lincoln episodes I like a little bit more than others because again those aren't my favorites compared to the ones about the sisters uh, but like I said I think the, the the part of the episode I enjoyed the most was seeing the family and seeing the Clyde dynamic with his dads and Lincoln being thrown in the mix was a lot of fun and, and something different and I'm glad we've gotten to see that a little bit more in season two compared to season one and, and hopefully even more in season three so uh, overall I thought both episodes were pretty solid for a finale and looking forward to see what season three will bring us and, and hopefully soon. So this is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there are links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter and I'll see you guys later. Bye.